Now sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of many rank-ups. It started about three level-ups ago. And that is all I've got. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, I need to warn you, this video is like 45 minutes long, but in my defense, it's not just rank ups, level ups, um, I also sig up champions, and I even have some crystal openings in here, okay? So, you saw where we were at with the level up, so this is the first of three different level ups. All right, and we can see there, I've got a few champions that I could take up. So first up, we're gonna take up America Chavez. We just got her uh, as a four star from the arena and we were just waiting for this next level up. So this is the time that I usually take up my uh, four star champions, but I'm not gonna take her all the way up. I'm gonna take her up you know, usually about three is where I stop um, and then wait for an advancement, like a mystic advancement in her case, to take them to rank four. All right. So there we go. She is now rank two. And I said we wanted to go to rank three. And as you can see, we do not have a mystic uh, T3 catalyst. So we've got to go get one. And this is not the most fun thing for me to do, but I do have a lot of them. It has been a very long time since I've done the daily uh, quest to get these things because I have so many uh, crystals. Now, I didn't want to pop them because then I'm going to most likely have a ton of these in my overflow and I just end up having to sell them anyway so i'm trying to be a little efficient here okay and of course they gave me a tech one right off the bat they have been giving me tech resources like crazy what did i say so at this point i'm looking at this and i'm just like are you kidding me am i going to just keep getting tech you know but i know that's not the case and i looked at that tech and i said you better not stop on that one so we got Mystic, and that's what we were looking for, right? Um, and I couldn't remember how many I needed, but I was pretty sure it was like one or two or something like that. Uh, so, you know, we, we had to go back here. Yes, I couldn't find her at first. Uh, there's got to be a better way to do the... Um, filtering but anyway uh so we found her we only needed the one so we ranked her up and leveled her up to uh 30 so she is now ranked three level 30 all right so that's what we did first um lovely offers all the time they're so annoying to me so this is where we're at now something to note this level up, you see how much time we have left on it. That's because I was waiting to see if we were gonna get an advancement at the same time as the level up. We did not. So I didn't wanna use up any of my you know, larger resources. So no really big rank up or anything like that. Just wanted to get my uh, milestones and uh, get the rewards. I wasn't planning on doing a major push to get, you know, a lot of points here. All right, so you can see the level up. We're still not at the top milestone. And I'm sitting here looking at this and I'm like, hmm, do I want that top milestone? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. So uh, I'm looking through here and I'm like, who else can I level up? You know, can I level up a five star? So I'm looking over here and I'm like, hmm, Mr. Negative. 
He is, in fact, at this time, the only ranked two five star in my roster. Not anymore. Now, Mr. Negative is rank three. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure that taking him to rank three, leveling him up, will uh, get me all the milestones for the level up. Now, you saw how many uh, mutant ISO I had expiring. It's normal. Uh, I usually end up selling a bunch of those. Not that I need the gold, but, you know, I still sell them anyway rather than just let them expire. So I don't really know too much about Mr. Negative. I don't hear a lot of really anything about him, good or bad. Uh, I, I do remember someone mentioning that they did like Mr. Negative, but they didn't say why. So, and I've not done any research into him. I may, I may do some research into him uh, uh, in the future just so that I can see what he's about. All right, so we're just uh, leveling him up. We've got plenty of uh, science ISO, but we are starting to uh, maybe run short. Uh, I don't remember how many uh, I had at this time, but ISO is not really a problem for me. Uh, and it's not really a problem for any hardcore arena grinder, to be honest with you. And here, I'm just trying to select just a few so that I don't have a bunch in my inventory that I can't really use unless I'm gonna rank up another science champion. So that's it for him. And uh, I think we show the uh, final Yep, there you go. So I got all the milestones for that level up. Now, here is the next level up, and look at that. We've got Cosmic Advancement. Now, I don't know where the footage went, but I don't think I leveled up anyone big. I think I ended up just using some Sig Stones, uh, Cosmic Sig Stones, and I didn't record that. Um, but at this point, I'm really low on uh, Cosmic ISO. So this is the uh, crystal opening that I was telling you about. All right, but of course it's pre-recorded. And there we go. What I actually wanted out of this were Cosmic Champions because I needed Cosmic ISO. Uh, I did a lot of rank ups of Cosmic Champions recently and I need the ISO. Uh, at one time, I actually had run out of Cosmic ISO and had to use uh, off-class, you know, um, ISO. All right, so here we go with tech. Don't really need uh, tech ISO, but it'll probably come in handy. We have a champion, tech champion, Penny Parker, coming into the contest, and I will try to grab the uh, five-star. All right, and I'm rejoicing here because it's another Cosmic and it's Cosmic ISO that I need. Uh, I don't think there was any Cosmic or Tech in here uh, that I was really uh, hoping to get, but I don't have Terax. So there was a chance for me to get a uh, new champion from these crystals. Okay, so uh, we see here, yep, and it was Tech yeah, and the ISO is the goal, but I didn't want to get so much tech. Now, maybe they're about to give me Warlock and uh, as a six star. And then, yeah, uh, I wouldn't have minded that Odin dupe, but uh, Drax works because he's also cosmic. So at this point, I've probably got enough cosmic, but I never know because I have a six star Silver Surfer and if I can dupe him or awaken him somehow, then I'm going to need ISO to uh, take him up when I rank him to rank three. Although I don't have any Cosmic T4 class catalyst right now. And we fin uh, finished it with a Medusa, who is also Cosmic. So plenty. And, you know, as good as Medusa is, I never took her to rank five. I, I don't know why. You know, I, I had Corvus, I had Hyperion, 
And since then, I've taken other champions, Cosmic Ghost Rider, uh, Hercules, and Medusa just, you know. So here, I'm just opening up these crystals. By the way, opening crystals gives you points for the advancement. So that was another reason for me to open up those crystals. And what you saw there, the four star crystals, these are more points for the uh, advancement. Okay, so now I'm looking over this because of course we have level up and cosmic uh, advancement. And look at that. I've got some cosmics that I can take up. Who to take up? I'm looking at you, Venom Pool. Venom Pool just got a, a rework. Uh, I have him as a five star, not as a six star, but may as well use him. Now you see why I needed that cosmic ISO. I just knew, of course, at the time, I didn't know that I was going to get cosmic advancement, but that's what I was planning. Either taking up Silver Surfer or doing a bunch more cosmic rank ups for a cosmic advancement. So you always want to try to plan ahead, you know, whenever you can. Um, and so we've got uh, Venom Pool. We took him up to rank four. That also is a relatively cheap rank up in terms of resources for me. It takes a few T4 basics, but that's really the only resource that I would need for my um, big boy five stars and six stars. So you see here, I'm buying uh, some uh, T4 basic using a glory. By the way, Kabam has been awesome in giving us that compensation for the parry issues and the control issues. Uh, and so I've been able to use my glory uh, to its fullest. I usually buy the um, T4 basics up and the T2 alpha fragments and lately, I've been also getting the uh, T4 CC class catalyst crystals uh, because I don't have any cosmic. And if I want to take up uh, Silver Surfer, I'm going to need cosmics. So I'm just kind of stocking up uh, on those for right now. And then later, I'll start opening them and hope I can get, you know, cosmics out of them. Uh, so again, I took up another uh, four star to rank four. Uh, this time it was Nova. No reason except he's cosmic and uh, he doesn't slow me down in the arena. That's one of the criteria that I also use. You know, right now I'm not really using my 440s in the arena. But all my 440s can possibly go to rank 5. And if they do... Yeah, and this was really tempting. That offer was actually tempting because I don't have those. So here's the cosmic advancement, but that's really not enough. Um, we, we did some good work, but we want a lot more in terms of points if we want to get that one to 10%. Okay, so I opened up a few of these. The ones that are fully formed, they give points a lot of points for your advancement now these here also give you points and i'm speeding this up because nobody wants to see all of this but i basically opened up uh, a bunch of these you see the symbol it made it take even longer all right but you know i opened up a bunch of these right now I have a drought because Kabam has taken away those fragments. I'm happy they did. And they've replaced them with the Grand Master fragments. But opening Grand Master crystals does not give me points for the advancement like this. So this is probably one of the few times you're going to see me be able to do this in particular in order to put up extra points to get uh, the 1 to 10 percent. All right. So. We got done with that, and look at how many points we got for opening those crystals. Just the premium hero crystals. The premium hero crystals, the premium hero crystal shards gives us points. And you see here, I'm like, okay, well, let me open this one up. 
that gives me extra points, you know, so I'm looking everywhere at this point, because uh, I want to, I, I really like to be at around 130. Um, so I'm actually going to do something else here, because three stars also give you those points. Now, I'm getting tons of ISO that I don't need and can't really use right this minute. And this is also how I end up with that situation that you saw earlier where a bunch of them are expiring. So you can see here, I'm, I'm just opening up the three stars um, to get more points. And that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing instead of opening the premium hero uh, shards, crystals, because uh, once I run out of those, I'm not gonna be able to get them in these quantities. I used to have over a million of those. And uh, now I just don't. Uh, the nexuses don't count towards any points. So I leave those alone unless I need the ISO. And I think I might be able to uh, get something there. All right. So you see here I'm at 122K. And I told you I like to be at 130 or so. So now what I'm going to do is something that I very rarely do. Remember I said that three stars also give you points. And you saw that I used up my three stars, but I have a lot of max signature ability crystals for duping two stars. I don't really open those, okay? So now I'm gonna open them. And of course I'm speeding it up because nobody wants to see all of that. I had to sit through it, but you don't have to. Uh, and I didn't open all of them. Uh, I opened up enough to open, I think it was like five or 10 more three-star crystals that would give me enough to push me to the uh, 130 plus uh, range. All right, so you saw where I stopped there. So now go down here and you see I'm able to open up uh was it yeah 10 uh and i was trying to do it where it was kind of even uh i just like that kind of symmetry all right so after we uh convert these 10 uh i think we're gonna see and you see i got more uh max signature ability crystals because all of them are maxed out uh and we're finally we're at 133k so now I can kind of relax and you see how much time we have on the level up. Okay. So that time has passed. We, um, uh, we, we got past the, uh, cosmic advancement. I, I think we might still be doing cosmic. Yes, that's right. Um, because I had forgotten that I had that cosmic awakening gem. So I went ahead and used that on uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, who doesn't need to be awakened, but that awakened ability does help him out. And here I'm just checking to make sure I didn't have anybody else that I could use one of the uh, Cosmic Awakening gems on. And I'm going to look down here and see if I have any one that I can use. So you see I used the generic. That means no one can use any Sig Stones of a four star. And you see here, um, I'm like, okay, well, I don't have any more uh, Cosmics that I can do anything with, but there is an item, if I remember right, there was an item use uh, event on for Alliance. And I decided to go ahead and use this um, and get him to a certain point uh, for right now. All right, and uh, we'll see here in a minute. Um, and, and real quick, why this video took me a little bit longer to make than usual, uh, I recorded all of these clips on my iPad. I wasn't at my computer, which meant I had to upload all of these clips, I had over 11, I think it was about 11 and 
maybe about 14 different resources, 11 clips and a few uh, images. And what happened that I didn't anticipate on my iPad, everything's in order according to when I recorded it. But when I uploaded it, the order went bye-bye. So now I had them all uploaded, but I didn't know which one came first. And I had all of them for like a couple of level ups. Okay. So here we go. Uh, you see his signature ability here. And remember I said that I used those generics and I got him to a certain point. Um, well, you, you, you'll see in a minute, uh, what I meant by that. Uh, but anyway, so I'm not surprised that the footage may have gotten lost, uh, or just, I don't know, out of order, but I couldn't find it. Now, the reason that I'm opening these, of course, is, uh, maybe I would get a cosmic, but of course I had... Uh, forgotten at this point that I didn't have anybody to use it on. Every cosmic that I have as a four star is already awakened. So uh, that wouldn't have done me any good. Uh, this one here may do me some good uh, if it is a cosmic. And so what? What? What is it? What's it going to be? Cosmic Mystic, um, which is not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, I think we could use that on purgatory if we wanted to, but why? All right, so here's one of the images I was talking about. The cosmic advancement, I did get the one to 10%. So I wanted to put that up there so that you guys could see that all that hard work and effort paid off. Okay, so um, once that was done, uh, we still have uh, an item use on. And so now I'm using the rest of these cosmic advancement is over. Um, and I believe we used all of our cosmic six stones into Hercules, um, in, in possibly in another video, but here we actually got Hercules to sig 200. All right. So now my Hercules is all maxed out. I showed you this because I opened up a bunch more. I just, uh, didn't want you to sit through all of that to see uh, what I got there. So now, next one, we've got a Mystic Advancement on. And remember what I said about uh, America Chavez, uh, Ch Chavez, I guess. Um, I didn't take her to rank four because I'm waiting for something like this. Now, the previous image that you saw that was me opening up a bunch to get more tier, uh, was it tier three mystic catalyst. And you saw what I had to go through because I was trying to open those up one at a time. Go back and look at it and see what I had to deal with. Cause I stopped after I got the three that I needed, but look at what they gave me before I finally got those three. Anyway, so now, we can go ahead and uh, do the works because we've got Mystic Advancement. Uh, that's why, I, in fact, I try not to claim the four star, but sometimes I can't wait. Uh, but I try not to claim it because I can use the four star Awakening Gem to get some points in uh, Mystic Advancement. All right. Now, this is something that the game has done for years now. If you put too many in there, the server just kind of halts for a little bit and then it'll come back and uh, continue. All right, so, and there we go. Uh, we took her up. Um, I think we, yeah, we, we maxed her out, uh, SIG wise that is. And no, I was not going to take her up to rank five. She's not a champion that I really enjoy playing right now. So I don't necessarily want her uh, rank five, because then I would end up using her in the arena. All right, so now we go back to the three star that I did not take all the way up. Going all the way up. Uh, and there's some more ISO expiring, but we have some Mystic 
expiring. So we actually got to claim those and use them before they expired so that I didn't have to um, sell them. Okay, so of course we're gonna go ahead and max out our three star. Um, and then we're going to go and max out the SIG level of our three star. That's why all of my three stars uh, and four stars are max SIG. As soon as we have um, uh, uh, an advancement and I have a new champion, which is why I'm happy to keep going for new champions, uh, I'm able to keep it going, keep it going, get the uh, resources that I need to rank up even more champions. All right, you can see I was fumbling around with the uh, filter for a little bit, um, but uh, at this point in time, I'm looking through my roster uh, to try and see if I had uh, anyone else. And let me see, I don't think I did. I Yeah, I didn't finish. Uh, I didn't take her up uh, to uh, Max Sig as a three star. So there. Um, we are taking her up uh, to uh, Max Sig. Man, uh, so like right now, it is uh, late for me. And I was like, no, I got to get this video done. Um, I promised them that I would get it done uh, Monday. Uh, I also thought about breaking this one up, um, but decided against it. Uh, you can see Mystic Advancement at 115,000. Uh, and you see the level up is uh, 76,000. So... We're getting there, we're getting there. And now I wanna see if there's anyone that I can take up. And I'm looking at Magic. I've just never really liked her all that much. As powerful as she is, just never really liked her all that much, but I could take her to rank five. And I'm like, okay, I got some uh, six stones. Mojo needs them. I wish I had Mojo ranked up when we were doing one of the uh, weeks of Summoner of Pain where, uh, Summer of Pain, where he was a really good option, but mine wasn't ranked up. But he does need SIG stones. He does need SIG levels. So this was the perfect time. There was nobody else that I really had uh, that I wanted to use uh, those in. And here we are opening up more crystals to get more points. Same thing as I did before. Uh, and... You know, folks ask me, well, how do you get those crystals? Arena. That's that's the bottom line. Um, but not directly. Because the more arena you do, the more you go for champions, the more you build your roster up. The more you build your roster up, the more crystals you're able to open and the more duplicates you'll get. All right, so look at that. We got 132,000. And I'm figuring, okay, we're, you know, that that's pretty safe, okay? But just in case, I said, let me open up a few more uh, premium hero uh, crystal uh, shards, I guess. Um, they, they, they say it really oddly. I think it's a premium hero shard crystal or something like that. It was really odd when I read it the first time because I wasn't familiar enough with the game to realize that the crystals that you form were different than the crystals that you just get. You know, for me, it was like the same, but they make a distinction between the two. So, um, all right, so there you go. Wasn't interested in that at all. We're just padding the score, um, and we've got uh, up to 137,000. We should be safe at that point, and boom. Mystic Advancement, we got the 1% to 10%. So, again, our efforts were not in vain. And now, we're at the final level up of the video. I know you're saying, whew, thank goodness. Uh, so am I, because I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, so I don't know if you saw, but we waited. We waited, and there was no advancement. 
So now I just get to level up again using those ISO bricks uh, that I got from duplicating uh, my Cosmic Champions. We had just gotten her. If you didn't see that video, it was crazy. Heroes and Gods Crystals gave me a six star and a new one at that. Captain Marvel movie version. That's who we're ranking up right now. I was just waiting. I was waiting. I was hoping for another cosmic advancement during this level up like we had in uh, the previous one. No such luck. So, uh, and I'm not willing to wait. I want to rank up uh, my champions every level up. All right. So um, we pretty much took her up to, uh, you know, we didn't rank her, but we took her up. Now, also by this time, I got America Chavez from the arena. Uh, I grinded for her in the arena. And again, I was hoping for another mystic advancement so that we could double dip. But now you see that we are still short of those T3 um, class catalysts. All right. So back again, we go and you know, I have plenty of them, so I'm going to get them. Um, but I have been ranking up. I ranked her up, you know, as a four star. So we've been using those up, but we have plenty of crystals uh, for that. Now, don't worry. I'm not spinning uh, a bunch of these out. You know, by this time I'm tired, I just pop 10. Boom, let's go. One and done, right? It wasn't trying to save anything and I just, at this point I didn't really care. You know, I was just like, I'm gonna pop them, all the ones that I don't use, if I don't get a chance to use them, I'm just gonna sell them. Got plenty, plenty of crystals. All right, so now we're uh, grabbing a, and, and you notice that she doesn't have the arrow blinking. And I'm like, oh, okay. I needed one more. I forgot. I didn't realize. I popped 10, thought, woo, one and done. Let's go. All right. So now we need one more. And I was like, wow, are you kidding me? You know, I'm tired. I'm tired, honestly, but I don't want to have tons of them in my overflow. So I said, let me just open up a couple, see if we get anything. First one is a science. All right, whatever. I'll open, you know, a couple more. And if I don't get it, I'm just popping 10 and getting what I want. All right. But what we see here, we got it. Two. So all we needed to open and we got the one that we needed very fortunate let me tell you um i have opened up a lot of those just to get one of the class i needed usually and i'm not saying anything but usually it's during the event that pertains to that class so during a mutant uh, a mystic advancement that's when they seem to be the stingiest with the mystic resources just, just an observation. Not sure uh, if there's anything to it. May just be coincidence, RNG, but that's what it seems like to me. All right, so here we go. We leveled her up, and now she's level two. She is now currently my only level two five star. Because remember earlier, we took uh, Mr. Sinister up to uh, rank three. So we just got her. She is now ranked two, and you know we need some T4 basics to take her to rank three. Now, you're looking at these rewards, and I know you're saying, why doesn't he just claim these things? It's driving me crazy, right? I know. Leave me alone. Um, I, don't ask me why I do this. But I have a certain way of doing it, and it drives me nuts if I do it a different way. Yes. Kind of a OCD, um, ADD, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I collect all of the rewards after I finish the grind of each arena. Now, sometimes I forget 
I'll miss one, and then I'll have like 200 of these things. Uh, that happens, but usually it's before the next arena starts and after I've finished my grind of the previous arena, then I'll just go through and, you know, claim all of them, you know, in, in a bunch. But that's how much I generate over uh, one arena, sometimes two. All right, so now she is ranked three, and once again, I do not have any five stars that are below rank three. Uh, that's very nice for arena grinding. Uh, other than that, there's not really a great reason to do that. Unless you're planning on using them, taking them all the way up, they may as well be at rank one if you're not going to grind the arena. Must grind arena. Uh, but anyway, so that was uh, it for the five star. We took her up. Now, look at the level up. Now, there's no advancement or anything, and I'm looking there, and I'm like, should I just leave it? I have all the milestones. Do I need to go for the 1% to 10%? Do I have anybody else that I really want? You see how much time I have left on the level up? And then I said, you know what? Let's do it. Now, here's another crystal opening. Uh, and I don't often open these, but I wanted some T4 basics. That's what I was low. I bought up everything in the store and I needed T4 basics. And I'm like, I think these give them, yes, T4 basic, Throne Breaker dailies. I had forgotten that uh, in a previous video and was just trying to find T4 basics everywhere. All right, so you see how you can get champions from these crystals. These crystals are pretty nice. Uh, and you can see from uh, the number that I have that I don't open them. These are daily crystals uh, and it's been a while. All right, so we're just gonna spin these out until we get the T4 basics we need. All right, so there we got some fragments and these give 18,000 uh, more often than not. Uh, I can't remember uh, if they give more than that, but it's really nice. These are really nice. Skill, I need skill. Um, I want to, at some point in time, uh, take up a couple of skill champions, but I'm low on skill T4 uh, class catalyst. Woo. I was like, man, don't give me that tech. I don't want tech. All right. So we're still going and, and we're just wanting the T4 basic, not one of the higher prizes. Okay. Just a T4 basic. And we get T2 alpha, which is a bit rarer, but it's starting to become more common than it had been. There was a drought of T2 alphas for a while, and now um, they, they've added more uh, to the game. Boom, we got a T4 basic. Uh, and I forget how many we need um, after this one. Um, I think we needed either two or three uh, out of this. All right, so we got one and we also have shards. Now, five star shards mean nothing to me, but that, you remember when I got, uh, accidentally got a champion, I got the six star shards, but I missed out the five star shards. Well, there's the five star shards uh, that I missed out on there. All right, so here we go. Now, I was a little confused here because I was expecting it to pop up and say I formed another T4 basic because I got two of those fragments and I thought that combined they added to three, um, not three, um, but added to one so that I should have two at this point, right? But I said, okay, whatever, we'll keep going uh, because I think I needed three and boom, we got the third one. If that other one was formed, even though I didn't see it say formed. All right, so you see here, I looked here and I'm like, okay, what what is going on? I see two and I'm looking here, I'm like, okay. I'm like, what is this? Why is it saying that? Why, why don't I have, why isn't it forming the other one? I'm just like, okay, you know what? Let's just go ahead over there and see if it forms it after we leave here. You know, because I thought that was a little bit odd. Maybe that's something that happens all the time. Um, but if it formed it, 
will be able to take up a champion. All right. So, boom. I can see that um, it did form. So, the reason that I'm taking Sabretooth up right now is the Karina's challenge. There is a challenge in the game, permanent, um, I believe it's for a throne breaker, where you have to use a team of champions that are tagged with Canada, I think it is, uh, or Canadian, rather. And I couldn't find that tag anywhere. But I went to the Aunt May website, and they listed out the champions that uh, qualify, and he was one of them. And you have to use a four star. So this is preparation for that um, challenge eventually. So you can see here I'm at 121, but I had already planned to rank up two champions. I wanted to take him up to prepare for the challenge. And now, since it formed it, I have just enough to take up a champion to rank four, because that takes uh, three, if I remember correctly, um, three of them. All right, so you can see here, I'm like, okay, wait. All right, there, we have the three that we needed, but we were short the T1 alpha. Because I was looking down there, I'm like, what, what am I short? Because I was pretty sure I had enough of the T4 basic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Been talking for a little bit and it's late. All right, so I don't usually buy these uh, in the uh, glory store. Not lately. I usually get enough of them. But I've been doing a lot of rank ups. And you'll notice that I hadn't been buying those in the store. Well, I finally ran dry. I had a lot of these in my overflow. All right, so you see that uh, overseer. Um, and I'm speaking from the future. I ended up taking him up for a science advancement later. <clears throat> and I checked to make sure I was still um, recording because I couldn't remember. It had been a while. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, did I, did I hit record? And uh, I got a little nervous, so I checked. All right, so now you can see the arrows and I'm like, okay, who am I gonna take up just to push me over that 130K mark? which I consider a pretty safe score. Um, 122 might be fine, but you know me, uh, I like to uh, go for overkill. So I'm looking over here and I'm still trying to decide. And I'm like, I didn't want to take up a um, another Cosmic. I've been taking up Cosmics all over the place, but King Groot just got a rework that I heard was pretty good. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's take him up. And I don't anticipate taking him up to rank five anytime soon, but he'll be in position uh, to go up. Now to take a champion from rank four to rank five as a four star takes T4 class catalyst and I'm short of those and I need them for when I decide to take up Silver Surfer. Uh, and I think at this point, yeah, I, I, I didn't have a T4 class catalyst. Uh, and, and, that, and this was very tempting again because it was so low. But that's where I ended up with the level up, 142K. Pretty sure it was enough. And as you can see, it was. So that's going to do it, guys, for this long video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. If you haven't fallen asleep yet, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you watch to the end. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, would you like me to break it up and keep it around 10 minutes each, you know, somewhere around there so that uh, I'll do like maybe one level up. And if that was 10 minutes of footage, that's what I'll put out. Or I might do two level ups if it was 10 minutes, something like that. Let me know. Uh, take care and you all have a blessed day.